Okay, you guys. Today I'm going to talk about Bad Girls Club 13 All Star Episode 1 and 2. Um, because I didn't do last week. So I just want to give like my little opinion on last week's episode and this week's episode. Last week, Episode 1 was just basically um, the girls moving in. We have Jada, Julie, Judy. Danny, Camilla, Natalie, Red, who else? Sarah and Rocky. Yeah, that's it. Um, I used to like Camilla, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like her um, this season. I didn't too much. I had stopped liking her, really, on the All-Star Battle season, on um, All-Star Battle 2. But this season, really, these first two episodes, mm -mm, I don't know. I don't like when a girl becomes a breakout star for their season, and then all of a sudden they think they top-notch shit. And that's what I get from Camilla. Yeah, we got that from Natalie, but we kind of, now I kind of expect that from Natalie. But Natalie, I don't know. Natalie tries to, I, I'm not sure if she really want to make herself better. But I think it's time to make herself better as far as, bitch, was on season four. It's season 13. Even though it hasn't been that many years, because it seems like we're getting two or three damn seasons in one year. But I still also, excuse me, I still also think that it's time for her to grow the fuck up. Especially being married and all that. It's time to grow up. But, um, I don't like Red. No. Um, who else I don't like? I don't like Julie. I didn't like her from her season. Don't care. Didn't like Danny. It's no, it's not no girls on here I did like besides Jada and um Sarah, but I don't, Sarah, I mean, Jada is a flipper. Like, straight fucking flip flopper. Um, but yeah, that first episode was just basically them getting to know each other or whatever. Only thing I want to talk about that with the first episode was Camilla because Camilla was feeling some kind of way about Sarah and what Sarah said on her uh, pilot thing. Uh, whatever. Sorry about my phone is right here with it. Um, but she had a problem with Sarah. Sarah explained herself, but Camilla wanted to keep on, keep on dragging that shit on, and I was just like, "Girl, she explained herself. Get the fuck over it." Like. We know, stop trying to make it seem like Sarah's a racist when we know that is nowhere near the truth. So don't even try to do that, Camilla. That's what I was getting from her. Now, in this episode, oh, and Judy got really drunk on the first episode, so they all of a sudden, some kind of way, she ended up almost getting into it with Danny um, and Julie. But I'm like, y'all know that she's drunk, and y'all battling a drunk person is not going to go over well. So we move on to this episode, and Julie, I mean, Judy is still fucking drunk. She drunk than a motherfucker. She playing with the stove outside. She playing with talking to the tree. This bitch is wasted. <laughs> we all get that. Um, sorry. Um, so they end up meeting with the life coach, Laura. Um, Red was trying to tell Rocky, like, she's a trip, she's a trip. I'm like, no, bitch, you wasn't trying to give her a chance. That's why she used that like that. But they end up all meeting with her. Um, Jada needs to work on demanding respect. Natalie don't give a fuck about people's feelings, so that's what she needs to start working on. Um, Red is in a lesbian relationship now, but she got commitment issues and anger issues that she needs to work on. Julie. Um, she needs to learn how to give people a second chance because she put up a wall after they heard it the first time. I get that. That's the one I got because I was like, I'm the same fucking way. You heard me. I, I might be cool with you, but it's always going to be a wall up after that. Um, Rocky, she's still grieving on her dad, so she needs to learn how to, you know, make a foundation, the ground to stand on, yada, yada, yada. Danny, she had, we learned she had a miscarriage. 
she's been in bad relationships that she needs to learn how to stop picking the same fucked up relationships, I guess. Um, Camilla, she don't feel like she's good enough for her mom. Sarah, she has trust issues. She needs to learn. She she's always taking care of herself, so she just needs to set better boundaries for, for people around her. All that. Okay, we get it. They all got issues. They all want to redeem themselves from the what they looked at like on their seasons. But I'm like, if you gonna do that, stop being the same bitch as you been in your season. Camilla, you the worst bitch you were in your season. Just because, oh, everybody's like, oh, Camilla got hands, Camilla this, Camilla that, it made you think that you was hard, and it is, no. We were so only pumped up because those other bitches were so bad on your season, and you came in there, and you said you wasn't having that shit, and you fought them off. That's what made you likable on your season. Girl, boo, trying to prove that you bad all the goddamn time is not going to make you likable in this season. No, it's not. I'm just saying. So, as everybody is talking to the life coach, why not even they're talking to um her or whatever? Because they get these hookahs. So, uh, Natalie, Sarah, and who was it? Jada was out there smoking hookahs. Somebody else she said was out there. I didn't see him. But they was out there smoking hookahs. They come in, and Camilla is going in on Sarah and Jada about calling them minions and all that. So they called her a bitch. She gets mad that they called her a bitch. And Jada like, you called us out our name first. But she got mad at them calling them fake and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, Camilla, you're only you're showing out. You're showing out for the cameras. Sit your ass the fuck down with your bad weed. Apparently you know that's a bad weed because you always got a hat on your head. But I'm like, sit your ass down. Sit down. You started with them girls, and then when they had the backbone to say something back, you didn't fucking like it. Girl, boo. Calling them minions. And Sarah, like, bitch, how am I a minion? Me and Natalie been friends for five years, so how am I a minion? And I'm like, why? Because they cool with her, and they not backstabbing and talking about her at that point. I'm like, I don't get why it was such a problem with them hanging with fucking Natalie. You not cool with Natalie, that's your fucking business. And then she said she was cool with Natalie. And then when they got in the house, they, she was, they were friends. But when they got in the house, she saw a different side of Natalie. But I'm like, bitch, you know the cameras are rolling. You know she got to put on the character. So for you to say you're not her friend just because of that, and y'all ain't been in the house that for a couple of days, and you ain't seen no interaction where Natalie was dogging you out, what's the problem? What's the fucking problem? This whole episode was really basically about Judy and her drinking problem and how everybody had a problem with her fucking drinking and everybody is talking about her, but nobody is trying to help her. Nobody's helping her. Even when Judy and Danny goes to her, they still not trying to help her. They just telling her all the wrong she have done. Oh, you crazy. You this and you that. So... The first time Natalie and Camilla, after all of that bullshit, Camilla talked about Natalie, they all go to the club together. Her, Camilla, Natalie, Judy, uh, not Judy, uh, Sarah, and Red. They all go to, to the club together. They talking about Judy in the little bus or whatever, and Natalie is saying, we need to get her out. She drink too much. She crazy. Yada, yada, yada. So, they end up going back home. But I'm like, okay, Camilla, why are you going out with a bitch you don't like? Okay. Talking about everybody else is boring. But you want to go turn up with Natalie. Y'all end up, they end up going to the club, having fun, whatever, going to little secret Sundays. Need to go there when y'all in LA. I'm just saying it's a fun place to go. But um, they talk about her drink, Judy drinking ways and all that bullshit. So they get back home. No, while they gone, Rocky talks to Judy and talk, try to talk to some sense into her, like, try to see how they can progress, how we can make this better. I can't give it to Rocky that she reached out to Judy, or whatever. Judy crazy ass started talking about getting her cheeks done, and all this shit, and I'm like, plastic surgery, and a nose job, I'm like, what the fuck? Then Judy talks to her, she's still on some plastic surgery type shit, I'm like, are you fucking crazy? 
beauty be giving me my life, even though I be looking at her like that bitch needs some help. I'm like, this bitch is bad. She crazy for real, for real. So, like I said, Natalie wants to be talking in the bus about getting Judy out the house. Judy needs to go home. She needs help. Why, why, why? So then, like the next day, I think it was, Natalie ended up getting massages for the girls, her Judy, um, her Jada, and Sarah. So they chilling. They talking about crazy ass Judy. Judy, everybody talking about Judy, basically. Judy all sitting alone. Don't feel like nobody wants to be around her and all this kind of stuff. So Natalie comes up with this idea to make her a drink. Put all kind of different shit in there. Hard ass fucking drink and make her drink it. Like, fuck it, we're going to get her drunk to make her go home. But then Natalie end up start talking to her and stuff and just seeing how fucking crazy she was or whatever. So then Red tells Rocky and Judy and somebody else that was sitting there how Natalie wanted this girl out. Now she's trying to be her friend and all this kind of stuff. Judy go apologize to uh, Julie and Danny. I was like, whatever. So the girls go to this paint and sip thing. They drinking and painting naked bodies. Who cares? Whatever. And they be acting like they ain't never seen no fucking naked bodies. I'm like, Red. And Red looks at them with they naked bodies with like she had shit on her face. But I'm like, bitch, when you lifted up your shirt, and, mm, we didn't want to see that either. But you keep showing us that shit. Whatever. But anyway, um, Rocky, Red, Sarah, they go tell Judy that Natalie wanted her out. And all this kind of shit. Judy is just like, well, I'm not going to go out with you guys. I'm going to better myself. All this kind of shit. So then at the club, the girls talk about Natalie. Because I guess Natalie wasn't there. Oh, Natalie stayed home with Judy. So they all talked about Natalie and how she the way she treating Judy and all this bullshit. It was just petty bullshit. And I'm sitting there like, why are y'all so fucking concerned? Y'all supposed to be there working on y'all issues, but y'all so busy worried about the next bitch. It just irritates the fuck out of me. So, Natalie and Judy end up talking or whatever, and she was just saying that I'm your friend, and you need to hang out with me and Sarah, and we can help you. And they, um, talking about them girls ain't your friend, and they start doing her hair, because she has some spray paint in her hair, and I'm like, why the fuck are you putting spray paint in your hair? I don't get it. So they end up taking her out to get her nails and her nails done, and stuff like that. So that made Judy feel like, okay, somebody's reaching out to me, let me tag along with her. Y'all know she already looked up to Natalie. So Natalie reaching out is like, whoo, the heavens is opening up for Judy. So, everybody's getting mad that Natalie is taking her up under her wing and doing all this shit for her, talking about she's not addressing her issues, she's just using her. But I'm like, y'all not helping her neither. Every time y'all talk to her, y'all ain't making her feel no kind of better. Y'all all talking about how she crazy, how y'all don't want to be around her. So when a bitch is coming to her saying, be my friend and hang with me, that's who she's going to gravitate to. That's where y'all fucking up at. If y'all still feel for this girl and don't want her to be uh, brainwashed by Nelly, y'all will hang with her and see what her issues are and see how y'all can work on her issues and this and this and that. Go get her nails, go get y'all nails done with her. Like, take her out. Get her away from the house where drinking is available to her. Take her out, do some things. Don't just sit there and talk about her and make her feel bad to make her want to do even fucking more. So now Julie, I mean, Natalie and Sarah is there to her rescue. And y'all getting fucking mad. So when they all come back, they want to confront Natalie or whatever. First, Red confronts her. As Red is confronting her, Camilla starts confronting her. Camilla and them all up in her face, all up in her face. Apparently, Natalie got somewhere in her closet that they can't be doing her like that. Because y'all know. Natalie bring Raven, so we need her here at least a couple of episodes. Y'all ain't gonna get Natalie out the second, third episode. That ain't gonna fucking work. So, um, you notice, notice that security was right fucking there when it comes to Camilla and Natalie, because they know that's a big ass explosion waiting to happen, and Natalie probably fighting gonna wanna leave. So, they have security real close, because usually security don't be that close when the girls are just arguing. 
Not when they just arguing. That's why I'm like, hell no, I some clauses in that motherfucker that Natalie got. So they arguing or whatever, and Camilla like, you don't want it to woo woo. Wait till the security break her up. Then Natalie waits till the security broke him up, and then she no. Camilla threw whatever she was drinking on the security and Natalie. So Natalie knows security had broke him up. She throws something back or try to do something back at Camilla. Camilla like, oh, you you doing that because of security. And I'm like, no, both of y'all doing that because of security. They break them up. And then here come Red trying to talk shit to Natalie and try to swing on Natalie. And I'm just like, this is fucking dumb. So they broke them up. That's when she... Raise her shirt to show us all of what she got. Um, then Natalie go get on the phone and talk to her husband. But in the meanwhile, she talking to her husband. Then you got Julie outside crying to Julie about she love her and they want to be friends and all this kind of stuff and yada, 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 bullshit. So Natalie's on the phone talking to her husband. Red walks in there, sit on there trying to irritate her, be a big fucking bully. End up, Natty was like, they all trying to jump on me or whatever. They mad. They were. Um, and as she talking to her husband, Red hangs up the phone. So Natty gets mad. If I was Natty, I would have clocked the fuck out of Red with that phone handle. Maybe that would have, she would have been in jail. I don't know. Got kicked off. I don't know. But I would have clocked the fuck out of her. You're not going to hang up my phone call. I don't give a fuck who you are. So they end up breaking them up, and even Jada had noticed that um, that Red was trying to be a bully. But why I say Jada's a flip flopper? Because I think when they were at the club, she was talking about Natalie or whatever. Talking about Natalie don't fuck with me, Natalie don't hang with me. But I'm like, bitch, you were with her and Sarah with the hookahs, with the massages every time they go outside. Your ass is right there. And now she's not around. Now you want to talk about her? Shut that shit up. Shut that shit up. I'm going to use it for whatever she can give us. Bitch, if I don't roll with you, I don't give a fuck what you got. So that's what you call a fake bitch right there. I'm, I'm sorry. But that's all I got for um, Bad Girls Club All-Star 1 and 2. I'm going to try to keep on going with this. It might not be up the night that the song it might be up the next morning like it is now. But um, I'm going to try to keep rolling with it because I, I'm quite sure I'm going to have some things to say about Camilla and Natalie and Rocky. These, y'all supposed to be able to work on y'all stuff, but it seems like y'all, y'all feel like y'all got something to prove, and that's what I don't like. If you're going to work on yourself, work on yourself. Giving all your attention to somebody else is not working on yourself. And all y'all so busy worried about Natalie, can't none of y'all work on y'all stuff. And then that makes her even a more bigger star than she is. Like, I just don't get it. Leave down in the comment section what you thought about these first two episodes. We'll keep it going. We'll talk in the comment section. Tell me who you're going to like, who you're not going to like. All that good stuff. Um, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Xbox Live. I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. And once again, if you're in the Los Angeles area, I will be out there this weekend for the Taste of Soul. So if you're there in L.A., come by, talk to me. Support my mom and her um, seven plates or whatever, giving them away food, whatever she's going to be doing. I'll be there to help. So come by to Taste of Soul in Los Angeles. I think it's on Crenshaw. Um, all right, you guys. Talk to you later. Oh, make sure you check out Ashley Miller and Scotty from Mr. Still Standing. Some more love to the. And I can't think of nobody else. I think Bondi is also doing Bad Girls Club. So check us all out. Talk to us. We'll talk to you back.